What is good, Horror Horde? This is your boy, Horror Gamer, back with another video for you. And yeah, I look a little different. Your boy doesn't have his official Horror Gamer hat on, but it's all good. Um, so, as you can tell by the title of this video, this is another Horror Gamer Reviews. And don't mind Jake the Horror Cat. He has a bell on, so you're going to hear that a little bit in the background. But... Before I get into my review, just know that your boy Horror Gamers reviews have spoilers in them all day, every day. So if you haven't seen the movie, check it out. Come back. Let me know in the comment section what you think, whether you agree with me, whether you disagree with me, um, whether you, you know you like the movie or whether you hated it. But anything beyond this point is on you. So as you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be reviewing... The Shining. Now, your boy Horror Gamer has a little confession to make. I literally just watched The Shining for the first time. Yes, I literally just watched it for the first time. I have never seen it before. Um, and you know, me and my Patreons, we, we decided to have a movie night and we watched The Shining and it was the first time your boy Horror Gamer has ever seen it. So, with that being said, with that confession out of the way, what is your boy Horror Gamer's thoughts about The Shining? Holy shit. This movie was on point on so many levels yeah granted it was a slow burn it was one of those movies where you have to sit down watch it pay attention and get the story but for the slow burn the payoff at the end was amazing like basically it's about this guy he's a writer he takes this job as a caretaker of a hotel during the winter months it gets so snowy at this in this area that they can't have any guests so from a certain time to a certain time in their off season um they need a caretaker just to keep up the hotel you know make sure everything's on point that way when it comes time to open the hotel back on uh, heavy season again um it's ready to go so jack nicholson and i think her name is shelly duvall they star in this movie and they're the ones who end up ultimately take uh taking care of this hotel. Jack Nicholson plays a writer named Jack Torrent and Shelley Duvall is his wife and they have a little kid. And this movie is basically the, the depiction of one man's descent into madness because as the story evolves, Jack Nicholson's character slowly just starts going crazy. And, you know, Shelley Duvall's character, she's so like stressed out that she's constantly crying in this movie and I did hear that um Stanley Kubrick the guy who um directed this movie this was one of his like uh this was his best movie but I heard that he wasn't really the the greatest guy to work for to the point where actually Shelley Duvall after she made this movie she really didn't do much else because she just quit acting after that point because he was so horrible to her, had her stressed out on a constant basis to get that genuine reaction in the film that she was done. Like it, it completely, like this was the, basically the beginning of the end of her career after she did this movie. Now, Jack Nicholson, as we know, went on to do bigger and better things. But, you know, I heard that the Stanley Cooper guy, the guy who directed this film was a, just a major dick. Like he was horrible to work for. The conditions were terrible. Um... But, with all that being said, he ended up making, in my opinion, one of the greatest Stephen, ad uh, Stephen King movie adaptations I've ever seen. Like, I'm, j I'm just going to be honest. Like, The Shining was, it was one of the movies where, like, you just watch it all. Like, the, the, it's a, it's a ghost story. It's a descent into madness. You know, there's a scene where Jack Nicholson is sitting at a bar. And he's already starting to go crazy. And he's talking to the bartender. And he's drinking, you know what I'm saying? And Shelly Duvall walks in. Um, and she touches him on the shoulder and there's nobody there. He's sitting at the bar by himself. I don't even think he's drinking. 
Like, it's just... The, the imagery in it also is just amazing. The acting in it is so good. Like, Jack Nicholson killed this role. Like, you actually believe, like, he's really going crazy. But see, in, in my opinion, that's Jack Nicholson anyway. Jack Nicholson was always someone who was a great actor who just about everything he was in, he was good. You know what I mean? I mean, look at the movie, I think it was called One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. He was in that and he played like a, a, a mental patient and shit. He was great in that. And then, like I said, he comes in and he does this and he's just, he's just phenomenal. Like he starts off as like this family guy or whatever. And then as they get closer to the hotel, you can... Even to the car ride there, you can see that something's up. Like, he's he's starting to... Oh, look, it's an appearance from the horror cat. Jakey the horror cat. But no, you start seeing that um, something's awry. Something's amiss almost instantly as they're driving up to the hotel. And then... Um, um, and then it's just... It's full-blown craziness after that. He slowly starts going just into madness. And it's such a well-acted movie. The script was so good. The, the I want to read the book. Like, I want to go back and read the book. Now, they did come out with a, uh, a, a sequel a, a couple years ago called Dr. Sleep, which is now the story of the little boy. And, like, the scenes with the little boy is phenomenal. Like, he does a bang-up job. Like, when he starts talking and other tones of voice pretending it's not him like it's a ghost that like possesses his body and shit and basically what the shining is is a, it's the ability he has this little boy has what they call the shining which is the ability to communicate with the dead and with other people who have this um this gift through mental um to, i guess telepathy or whatever you can talk to each other and um it's just all in all it was it was a fantastic movie very well acted. Um, also, I did hear that the little boy who played in The Shining didn't really know that it was a horror movie when he was doing it. So I don't, I don't know how you don't know it's a horror movie, but that's what I was. I, I've heard that. And also, the the scene with the little girls when you find out what happened to them throughout the movie, you're just like, "Well, holy shit! Like this guy's a real. Oh my god, you know." So all in all. This movie was fantastic. I definitely recommend you check it out. If your boy horror gamer has to give The Shining a score. Before I give it a score, I do got to say one thing. While she acted very well in it, there were certain scenes with Shelley Duvall that I couldn't stand. Like when she was holding the bat, she was holding the bat in such a dumb way. It was, it was literally driving me crazy, like the way she was holding this bat. Um... And she managed to crack Jack Nicholson and knock him down the steps. But it was just like, come on, man. Hold the bat at the... Ba you know, you want to get that. You know, come on, bro. Yeah, fuck it. But she's holding up here at the neck. Eh, you got to get down there because you got you to gotta wind that bitch up. You know, you're going to whack somebody away. You're going to make it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to make a statement. But other than that, like, all in all, like I said, the movie was fantastic. Now, if your boy horror gamer has to give it a score... I'm going to have to give The Shining straight up 9 out of 10. This is one of the best horror movies I've seen all time. Like, this is probably, horror movie-wise, easily top 10, possibly top 5 horror movies I've ever seen. Um, such a great film. Jack Nicholson kills it. Shelley Duvall kills it. That little boy in it, he fucking kills it. Um, the hedge maze scene was amazing. Um, the, the conclusion was really good. And just all in all, it was a great movie. I didn't give away too much because I don't want to ruin it for you. So get out there. If you haven't seen The Shining yet, like your boy, go out there and watch it. Definitely, definitely a great movie. Good film. Little tidbits kept it from being a perfect 10 out of 10, but not much. So, all right, horror horror. With all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And don't forget, if you haven't done so yet, Hit that subscribe button along with that dingly ding ding button. Now every time boy horror gamer throws up one of these awesome reviews or is it worth the hate or anything that you're always in the know, you will be seeing Jake the Horror Cat a lot more now, you know. Um, and also uh, 
jump on over to the Z Network. A bunch of us got together to create something special. Just a little bit of everything for everybody. Go over there, check it out. Also, head on over to the Horror Gamer Patreon page, you know. See what awesome perks you get as a Horror Gamer Patreon. You get movie nights with your boy Horror Gamer where we just sit up, watch movies like The Shining, have fun, eat popcorn, drink drinks, discuss movies. Just have a good time. So head on over there, see what perks you get, you know, it's real cheap to join. You know, I'm not one of them guys who are gonna, you know, oh, $45 perk, then no, no, I don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I love you guys. I make it cheap to join, man. So just go over there, check out the tiers I got. I think there's a $1 tier and a $5 tier. That's the highest I go. So, all right, Horror Horde, with all that being said, I love you guys, thank you guys. And as always, this is your boy Horror Gamer saying until next time, don't fear the darkness. Embrace it. <laughs>